This short video will cover some movements that are not listed in your lab manual, but I do think they're important and I do think you should be familiar with them. We're going to start with elevation and depression. Elevation and depression are movements in the frontal or coronal plane. Elevation is movement in the superior direction and depression is movement in the inferior direction. If you were to raise your shoulders as shown here, that is elevation. Dropping your shoulders would be depression. I will now demonstrate elevation and depression. Elevation and depression like abduction and adduction is movement in the frontal plane however it is move elevation is movement superiorly and depression is movement inferiorly so i'm going to elevate my shoulders i do that depressing my shoulders is that i can also elevate my mandible or depress my mandible Opposition is the ability to touch our thumb to our fingers. You often hear that one thing that distinguishes humans from other, other animals is that we have opposable thumbs. Most animals cannot do this. They can't touch their fingers with their thumbs. There are, there are a few that can do it, and either those that can, can't do them uh, to the extent that we as humans can. What does having an opposable thumb allow us as humans to do? Some of the answers that I get are, well, pick up things. Well, you can pick, animals can pick things up with their tails, and if you didn't have a thumb at all, you can still pick things up. What having an opposable thumb allows us to do is handle and manipulate tools. Think about how would you use scissors or a hammer or a screwdriver or chopsticks without a thumb that you could resist or oppose your fingers, the actions of your fingers. So opposition allows us as humans to handle and manipulate tools and that's quite unique to most um, individuals in the animal kingdom. 